and welcome back to the fourth annual Golden Mullet Awards, brought to you by Human Feces. It's the fertilizer you make yourself. Our next Golden Mullet goes to a game distinguished not only by its distinctive artistic style, but its unerring willingness to make jokes about mud butt. We present the next Golden Mullet to Bad Day LA. On the surface, Bad Day LA has the makings of a cool game. The third person shooter that tells the story of a homeless man trapped in LA on a day where everything goes wrong. Get off the freeway, you retard! There's a terrorist attack and an earthquake. Earthquake! Go. Meteors, fires, superhuman villains, giants, and zombies. Yes, of course they're zombies. Eat me. They want to eat me. Okay, so you're thinking the hero is an action hobo, and he has to traverse an entire city while fighting off gangs, the undead, and just about every other possible world-ending event all in one day. Awesome. I'm in, like Osama is into Whitney Houston. No! They want my pickle. Oh, man! Don't talk about your pickle to me. Then you play it. Suddenly, Bad Day LA is your bad day because you actually paid money for it. Although the cinematics would lead you to believe this game is gonna have a real smooth, cool, and unique look, this doesn't translate to the actual gameplay. The bland graphics are akin to the type of game that you get free from Kool-Aid for sending in five proofs of purchase labels from your Grapeleberry Blitz. Another one by the dust. As cool as it might sound to play through a game as a battle-ready homeless guy, consider this. Do you really want to take the hero's journey with the guy who probably smells like part of that journey is never having to say I wiped properly? Something ain't right. Oh, more than breakfast burrito to f up my pipes. Your main objective in this game involves a fair amount of outright murder, but at its core, you really just have to help people. In fact, of all the generic, same as it ever was weapons in this game, for instance, the shotgun that you'll have to shoot drug dealers with up to five times in order to bring them down, you'll probably use the gauze the most. Yeah, that's right, I said gauze, which you'll use to bandage and heal the panicked denizens of LA. Why? To earn smiley faces, because isn't that what hobos are all about? Even the murderous railway ones? Sometimes when a game is just downright bad, a little humor can be its saving grace. Damn, girl, you so fat when you cross the street. Cars look out for you. Not here. The jokes in this game are as tired as the sick kid that tags along with you the whole time, puking on people as a weapon. I'm not gonna say that all the jokes we say on X-Play are mature or thought-provoking, but the constant references to fine asses and mud butt in Bad Day LA get to be a bit much. If you don't want to see any mud but you best close your eyes. Ben Dele took a great apocalyptic premise, set it in a city that couldn't be more deserving of an apocalypse, and then totally crapped in their proverbial hobo trousers. That's the way we do it! Bad Dele gets a one out of five. And that, boys and girls, is your lesson for the day. Catch an all-new X-Play, weeknights at 8, only on G4.